Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will examine how to create tab stops in Word documents. This can be useful when creating an organized list in a Word document. For example, suppose that you had to create a document that listed the names of the people in your company and also in which department they worked. In this case, it may be helpful to create a document that contains two columns of information, one for the names of the people and another for the names of the departments. Using tabs in your Word document can allow you to easily accomplish this type of task. While it's more common to insert tabs into your document prior to writing the lines of text, tabs can be inserted either before or after text has been written. Tabs can also change from section to section within a single document. Actually, each line in a document can have its own unique set of tab stops. So in summary, tabs do not have to be placed in a strictly uniform fashion throughout your entire document. Before you add tab stops to a line in your document, ensure that you have the ruler enabled. Now once you have your ruler turned on, you will be able to see the tab toggle button at the far left end of the horizontal ruler. It's called a toggle button because when you click the button, you toggle between the various types of tabs that are available for use. Left, center, right, decimal, and bar. Now in addition to these buttons, you will also have buttons that allow you to set the first line indent and the hanging indent. Since these last two buttons are redundant and have already been discussed in introductory word, we'll focus in this lesson on the use of the tab buttons. Now to insert a tab into a line of text, first click into the line or select lines of text to which you want to insert tabs. Then click the tab button in the horizontal ruler until its face displays the type of tab that you want to insert. If you want to know which tab type is currently selected, just hold your mouse pointer over the button and a screen tip will display the name of the tab type. Next, click in the horizontal ruler at the position at which you want to place a tab of the currently selected type. The type of tab that you insert affects the way in which text will align when entered next to the tab. Therefore, left tabs will left align the adjacent text right tabs will right align adjacent text, center tabs will center align adjacent text, and the decimal tab aligns numbers by their decimal points. The bar tab, which is often used in conjunction with other tabs, simply draws a vertical bar when you tab past its position within the line. It does not in any way affect the placement of text, it's purely for aesthetics. Now to remove a tab from the ruler for a selected line, or for lines, first click into the line of the document that you wish to change, or select the lines that you wish to change. Next, click and drag the tab stop that you want to remove from the horizontal ruler and drop it into the document area. That'll remove the tab stop from the selection. You can reposition tabs that you've added to the horizontal ruler as well by simply clicking and dragging the small black icons of the tabs shown within the ruler to a new location in the ruler. You should also be aware that if you set tabs for a line of text at the end of your document, when you press enter to move to a new line, the tab stops that you created on the previous line will be automatically added to the next line. So if you no longer want to have the same tab stops, you'll need to remove them from the new line. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.